Welcome in Accounting Education. Today we will meet a great personality in the field of education and uh, he is uh, Dr. Mathadasji Sutantra who has more than 40 years experience in teaching to secondary and uh, higher classes. So today we will talk with this great personality. Namaste Dr. Mathadasji. Namaste. Sir, what is the importance of education for a student? Education is a light. So it gives us a clear understanding, a picture of the human beings and also of the of society, which helps us move normal, ideal uh, amongst our colleagues and uh, the society at large. Sir, uh, you have the 41 years experience in the field of uh, teaching, education. Please uh, give some message to our young uh, teachers and uh, students uh, how can uh, uh, they get uh, uh, this profession uh, for their life education means teaching is a noble profession if i say it is the noblest of all the professions so, my message for the future teachers and also the present teachers is to work honestly, diligently. They have to present themselves as icons and model before the society, children learn what they live. If they live among the ideal teachers, then they must be shaped into normal human beings who are well conversant with the social laws, how they have to live among others how they have to uh, deal with others. So, again I repeat that what our society needs today is the ideal people before the younger generation, their parents, their teachers, the social leaders, because after all these children are to become the future citizens, future leaders and, uh, and to work in various professions, occupations. So teacher is not only a teacher, he is also the auxiliary parent of his students. They are in his care to, to be shaped uh, what is needed to be ideal for the society. Sir, these days uh, uh, you are providing uh, social activity to uh, students who are poor and needy. Why did you choose uh, this type of uh, social activity in the form of uh, welfare activities for orphan and uh, poor students. There are also lots of other <coughs> social activities. Why did you choose this? My father expired when I was only three years. 
my poor widow mother reeled me painfully. She set before me the ideals of a of an ideal lady. Although she was an illiterate woman, but she was very much conscious within, and she gave me proper shaping. When I was in fifth class, I fell into a bad company and didn't attend the school for eight days. I took my bag and then I returned back when the school was closed. On the ninth day, when I reached home, my class teacher, Pandit Bhagwan Daji Sharma, was there at my house to inquire from my mother why was I not going to school. He took me in his arms very lovingly. It was his magical touch, parental touch, fatherly touch that I attended the school next day before the other students came to school. And throughout my life as student, I never absented or played truant from my class, my school, so my teachers gave me proper love, care, protection and I started shining in my class. In ninth class I did not have, I did have a English grammar. So when I got the grammar book, I stood first in English in my class. So, when I passed my matriculation, the principal of my school asked me what I proposed for my future life. I immediately submitted that I would become a teacher, because in my unconscious mind, Pandit Bhagavan Ji's life was before me who, as a teacher and also as a foster father, gave me his love, protection, care. So, my principal sent me for teacher's training and before the result was announced, I was appointed teacher in the same school where I had matriculated. So, during my studies, I continued along with my teaching profession, I continued my academic studies and I studied privately up to MA English. I did my B.A. then I joined Kurukshetra University for Master of Education degree. There I got first class and I was uh, registered for PhD in education. There I opted for uh, the welfare of the poor and destitute children. 
I was given a topic to study juvenile delinquents in all the district jails of Haryana. There I studied 200 inmates, both girls and boys, and I, the title of my study was a study of the problem of juvenile delinquents with regard to its extent, nature, causes, and the provisions for handling it in the state of Haryana. So, the majority of my cases belong to poor families. They were from broken homes. They were denied love and care of the society. They were denied care at the hands of teachers. They were beaten if they did not bring any book or notebook with them. They were, most of them belong to widow mothers as I belong to. So the majority of them I found went to the ways of crime due to their poverty and other causes also. So after completing my PhD, I was selected headmaster of a high school for 10 years, I continued there. Then I was selected principal grade 1 uh, by the Kendriya Vidyalaya Sangatan, New Delhi. I was posted at Aramula Kashmir, then an Air Force Station, Chandigarh, and then Army Dev at Patiala. So there I gave my services for nine years, and I retired at 1698. I was offered various uh, assignments work as director of an institution, work as principal, but I prefer to be the social guide of the children who are deprived of their fundamental right of love, security, and recognition. So, in the company of a noble friend of mine, Sri Satya Prakash Prabhaka, ex municipal president of Rajpura, to work for the needy children. In 1988, we started a student's council named as Vidyarthi Kalyan Parishad. And since then, I am engaged in that field. God knowing who will be benefited, who, who whom we can be of help. So for the last twenty years, twenty-two years, I have come across students who have reached various responsible posts. They have become very responsible citizens of the country. They have become very healthy social beings. So I think I, this uh, field of social welfare of students was uh, really my uh, real choice to work for them. These days I am enjoying cooperation from various quarters, the principals, the, the teachers, and the society at large is uh, working with me and 
hundreds of students are benefited every year. We give them educational guidance and counseling, and uh, they they have shined in their studies. Some of them have become engineers. Some of them have become college lecturers. So it gives me consolation. It gives me solace that I am doing a bit for the society. I want to continue as teacher. As a, I, I, I am so much conscious that I should should not behave in any negative way of life so that the children at large may copy me in right direction whatever I can help them I am very much proud of the society helping me uh, in the right direction to help the student community. Thank you. Sir, my best wishes uh, are with you. And uh, one last question I want to ask. Sir, your subject is uh, mainly English. And uh, tell me, how can Indian student improve uh, their English? English is a language. It is a communicative skill. And we communicate our ideas in three ways. Through our speech, through listening, and through speaking. There are three skills of the language. Reading, writing, and speaking. So, in fact, a teacher who is teaching a language should wholeheartedly teach them through that particular language, keeping in view all the three skills of learning a language. So. We should first of all create environment for learning a language. So a student living among the people who speak English, write English and also have environment to develop our three skills of language. One can learn speaking English only if we, if the child listens properly the spoken words from the other people. There are various means of listening radio, the TV. So, like spellings, one should learn through eyes. Correct spellings of English are learned through eyes. And the correct speech is learned through, means pronunciation is learned through ears. So, we must be careful to attain all the three skills of language, uh, creating an atmosphere of that particular language around us for the children so that they will learn this language clearly and uh, without any doubt. So we should not take it as a foreign language, 
we should take it as a our own language. Thank you, Dr. Maksadas Ji. Today you come on online platform of accounting education and give us great knowledge and education to improve. I wish also you a happy life and may God give you peace. Thank you.